So when the non-seniors of the group were deciding which seniors they wanted to write speeches for, I said, please, anyone but Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> Not because I don't like Jamie, but because I thought I'd have too much to say and my speech would be too long, which it is, but even after I shortened it, because I heard that talking for like three hours hurts your voice or something. So. Um, I didn't know exactly where to begin the speech, so I decided I'd go back to the very beginning. So naturally I went to my Gmail records <laughs> and looked up Gchat. And the fourth Gchat I ever had, the first one with Jamie, went like this. Jamie. <laughs> Jamie. Ben! Me. Jamie! <laughs> I'm in the library, I can't actually talk. Jamie, do you have headphones on? <laughs> so, at that point, I did have headphones on. But since she could talk, she was in her room, and I was in the library, I couldn't talk. So I put on my headphones, and she talked to me, and I typed back. <laughs> and he, I have no idea what she said, but here's what I had typed. <laughs> Yeah, probably Tuesday night. <laughs> Nothing really. I don't know. Dot, dot, dot. Mmm. I might. I have nothing better to do than study for finals. Good movie. <laughs> Lols. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> ouch. <laughs> so that conversation had potential to be pretty boring. <laughs> I think what makes it so much fun to talk to you is your high energy. Now, people who know you or have seen you fall asleep on me like five times a year probably would disagree that you're a high energy person. But I stand by it. You might not run around doing backflips, but I, I challenge you to be bored around her. When I'm with you, I feel your genuineness. That is a word. I feel like you actually care about what I have to say, unlike the people sleeping in the back of the room right now. <laughs> Which leads me to my next point. When she wants to be, Jamie can get very loud. <laughs> if you're arguing her with, with her, this is bad, because she'll win. <laughs> but in general, it's a good thing. My point here isn't just your volume. It's the fact that you have good ideas and you actually say them. Which, in an acapella group where half the people try to abstain every time we vote on it, <laughs> is an invaluable quality. Not that you never abstain from anything, but hey, you're a busy person. But compared to my voting record, three affirmative votes, two negative votes, and 47 abstentions, I think you're doing okay. From the beginning of the year, despite the fact that you did not hold an elected position in cheer appeal, I immediately sensed your leadership in the group and the respect that everyone has for you. You're often the focal point of group discussions, whether it's deciding what to do or just getting everyone to shut their gaps so we can actually get some work done for once. <laughs> your musical ability is similarly, similarly formidable. I still don't quite understand how you got all 85 of your solos. <laughs> I, well, I understand because you're an amazing singer, but you get it. Here, here is an abridged reenactment of me finding out about your solos. I see we're singing kites today. Who's the soloist? It's Jamie. Oh, cool. I can't wait to hear her sing it. I hear we're singing Yerushalayim Shells of Hobbs today. Who's the soloist? It's Jamie again. Oh, cool. I see we're singing November today. Who's the soloist? It's Jamie again. Oh. <laughs> I see we're singing Milkmo Kiila today. Who's the soloist? It's Jamie. Again. Again. <laughs> what I mean by that isn't that I get less excited with each of your solos. On the contrary, it's me becoming more speechless <laughs> and impressed at your rock outiness. <laughs> It's not just soloing that makes you an amazing singer and member of Sheer Appeal. 
I'm no music director, but to me it seems like you can sing any part that's thrown at you and sing it really well. And while some people seem to have certain strong suits, for example, Jake is our mouth shapes expert. <laughs> I get the sense that you not only do everything, but have the ability to teach and help me and everyone else in the group who needs it. Jamie, I've only known you for a year, but I already consider you a very close friend. I know that I can come to you with any problem, or if I need to laugh, or sing along to I'm Yours by Jason Mraz, or be used as a pillow. I'm speaking for everyone when I say that you've been an amazing friend and an integral part of this group, and we'll miss you a lot, and I love you this much. Aww.